So I just woke up, and uh, in case you can't tell by the huge grin and enthusiasm on my face, it's my fucking birthday. And the first thing I need to do here is uh, post the second day in the life video, and uh, there ain't no Wi-Fi. Yeah, welcome to most of these hotels, you know, it's like you gotta go down in the fucking lobby or sometimes out in a Starbucks. Um, I'm hoping the lobby will work. I have the key, I have the key, I think. I'm going live. The gym will wake me up. So the plan for today is there really is no plan. Um, this is the first birthday in fuck, like four to five years where I'm not working, you know, I mean, apart from recording. The past few years I was either, you know, running live events, giving seminars, just kind of running around, um, which I love too, but this is the first time where it's, uh, you know, free day. And instead of just, you know, packing it in with all these things to do, like, okay, it's the birthday, what can I do? How can I, you know, really make it big? Just fuck around. That's my plan. You know, we have reservations at um, 7.30, but uh, apart from that, I'm just gonna walk around, shoot the shit, have fun, uh, and just kind of celebrate. You know, just kind of have that you day. And this is something that, I mean, I don't do enough, and I mean, far too many people just don't do enough. It's take some time for you to celebrate. Say, take some time for you to be happy. And it doesn't have to be your birthday, just any day. You know, it's like we're so used to focusing on the negative, on our failures, and we think that's what you know, motivates us, what you know, gives us that charge to move forward. But that's really not how you create this upward, you know, spiral. It's like you're just so hooked on that negativity, on that misery, you're like next goal, next goal. If you win, you're like, okay, I won. What's the next? You know, what's the next? Why not take in the win? Why not kind of zone in on what you're, you know, you've achieved on, you know, what you're proud of? Why not allow yourself to celebrate a bit? You know, it's not gonna make you weak. It's not gonna take away your, you know, your charge, your, your drive. Um, in fact, it's gonna help your drive. Because if you don't do that, it's like, you just keep going down and down and down and I'll have clients like that. Like they'll be doing all these great things and they just can't enjoy them. They're never smiling, they're never happy. And again, that's also the way we're kind of raised. It's like if you, you know, say you're going to school as a kid, you get a good grade, it's like assumed. It's like, okay, but if you have a bad grade, rah, like you, you know, it's like you're in trouble, you're disappointed. There's a lot more, again, charge and energy around that. So it takes effort, you know, to every once in a while sit down and be like, well, you know, what are my successes? What did I do well? Can I celebrate? Can I be happy? And then, you know, we kind of fear happiness. Some of us are guilty too, where we don't feel like we deserve happiness. But uh, I guess, yeah, that'd be the, the, the kind of theme for today's video is have some fucking fun. Learn how to laugh, you know, stop suppressing positive emotions too. Stop suppressing, you know, you giving yourself props, taking in success and just having a blast just for the fucking hell of it. You know, it's like, here we're going out, there's no purpose, there's no goal. What happens if you don't have a goal? Can you still have fun? Or is that was, I need the next goal. I'm hooked on the goal. I, you know, it's like coming from that compulsive place where can you just fuck around? You know, I'll see this with uh, socializing too. Um, people go out and uh, they just can't have fun unless there's like a goal. It's like, oh, I must meet someone new. Da, 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 da. And it's like, next step, next step. And they just can't fuck around. Learn to fuck around, learn to vibe, learn to bring that out. So where to, man? Where are these cool little streets? Like a cool little, like small street, like graphic -y place. This looks actually really good too. Damn, dude. it depends. What kind of look do you want on the pictures? Do you want to look serious? Do you want to look serious slash sexy? <laughs> Seducing. I hope that's on the camera right there. <laughs> 
So I was at this dinner the other day. Uh, it was a meet and greet here in Amsterdam, and it was fun, you know, and thank you to everyone who made it out. However, at the same time, it was probably one of the most awkward, stuck up, stifled dinners I've ever been to in my life, where I show up, I say hi to everyone, you know, everyone's happy, um, it's like really good vibes, and then everyone just shuts the fuck up, you know, and like the whole dinner up until the end, when everyone finally loosened up, um, everyone was quiet, everyone was stifled, everyone was very stiff, uh, no one laughed, everyone was very serious, and um, it kind of made me realize, you know, it's like more and more are we just, you know, unable to loosen up, you know, more and more are we just stifled, we, we rarely laugh, you can ask yourself this question here, like when's the last time you actually laughed, you know, you actually let loose, like not just laughter, like, <laughs> like a little, you know, forced little contrived laugh, but like real laughter, where you're like falling on the floor laughing, you know, like genuine laughter where, you experience that relief after, you know, it's really a fucking release. And for a lot of people, it's very rarely, you know, it's something that we just suppress. We don't just suppress negative things, it's also positive things. You know, we suppress laughter, we suppress excitement, we ex suppress um, passion, uh, we, we suppress all of that, you know, smiling, like that too. Like the number one thing that I've been telling guys for years now, you know, teaching success with women is fucking smile. Stop being so damn fucking serious, you know, stop trying to be like James Bond, like the serious, you know, hello, like trying to be all stifled. That's not what it's about. It's about fun, carefree passion, you know, loosen up, stop giving so much of a fuck, start laughing, start allowing yourself to feel happy, you know, and if you translate this into even just success, it's the same thing. You know, we somehow have, similar to guys trying to learn success with women with the James Bond image, we now have the image of the, you know, successful person being very serious, very disciplined, um, you know, very organized, um, always hustling, always grinding, always working, never really happy. You know, we somehow take pride in that now. You can go on a bunch of even Snapchat accounts and you'll never see like a happy snap. It's just everyone like, I am grinding, I'm hustling, or, or just like sad, like grinding. It's like we take pride in like the misery. And I mean, yeah, you know, for a lot of people, because, you know, it's like they're, you know, you may be procrastinating, you're just at the bottom, like, yeah, fucking step it up. But realize that misery will only get you this far, you know, and that's not an accurate picture of someone who is successful and someone who is thriving, okay? It's like, yeah, there's times where you fucking hustle through, but most of the time, if you're really killing it and you're thriving, you're laughing, you're smiling, you're having fun. You know, that's the true sign of like someone who's successful. It's not someone who's like, I'm the martyr, you know, for the greater good. You know, I'll suffer, I'll just take it. It's like, no, don't fucking take it. Like, that's not being successful. Get rid of that image, okay? The same as a guy in success with women. Get rid of James Bond. Start laughing, start loosening up, start having fun. You know, yeah, you work hard, but you play hard too. And this is really hard. You know, it's like we, we fear a lot of, you know, like these positive emotions because we think, man, like if I, actually do feel happy, I'll lose that hustle, I'll lose that fucking grind, I'll start slacking off, and that's not true, okay, I can guarantee you that. If you want to really go hard, you need to start creating this positive spiral, okay, like it has to, you know, you have to start like fueling that with positivity and fun, and you giving yourself props and acknowledging your successes versus negative grind, negative grind, take it, take it, take it. That will not last you in the long run and you will burn out. It's just too much fucking effort, okay? And um, another one too is uh, we experience a lot of guilt where it's like we don't feel like we deserve um, to experience those positive emotions, to laugh, to feel happy, you know? Um, so yeah, in a way it's like we're, we're kind of conditioned just suppress it and uh, I mean, yeah, you can test yourself. You know, this, this used to be me back in the day. Like if I, you know, watched a, a, you know, comedy show or something. Say you go on Netflix right now and put on a comedy show or a funny movie, I was never able to laugh. You know, I was always in my head analyzing. Um, all my friends would be laughing, I couldn't. So just try that, see right now. It's like, see if you can laugh. Play something funny, something you find funny. Go on YouTube, go on Netflix, whatever it is. Play something funny, uh, see if you laugh. Or see if it's like a little bit suppressed. See what comes up. See what the fears are. Are you afraid of laughing? Are you afraid of loosening up? What will people think of you? That was one for me too. It's like, what will people think of me if I laugh? You know, it's kind of like singing. We're afraid to sing. We're afraid to put ourselves out there. We're afraid of people seeing us having fun. You know, 
around. It could also be just the way you were raised. Like say you're in a household where it's not okay to have fun. Say you're again, your parents are just always miserable. You don't want to be having fun because then they're like, well, what the fuck? It's like, no, we're all miserable here. If everyone's sad, you're not gonna be having fun. So you kind of tell yourself it's not okay to feel this, you know? And then you really reach a point where no matter what, you know, you get or how externally successful you become, you can't even see it. You know, if I've, I've had clients with success with women who couldn't see that, you know, um, the, the girls they were interacting with just loved them. I literally had to go up and take pictures of all these girls smiling, like, they're smiling, they like you, acknowledge that. And the guys were just like, no, you know? Um, so you can kind of see that too, like how, how someone talks about, you know, what they did or, or if they acknowledge the positive. Okay, there's a little test too. It's like, say you, you do something you are proud of. Say you look back, you know, the past few years, what are some goals you tried to achieve? You know, do, do you realize you've achieved them? Did you take it in? Or you just always <gasps> onto the next, onto the next, onto the next. You know, take it in. Did you achieve it? Give yourself those props. Don't just be like, oh yeah, I achieved it. Oh yeah, whatever, next goal, next goal, next goal. You know, and then also just living this surface level, just way of living where it's like, next goal, next goal, next goal. Take it in. You want a tattoo? Uh, you know, I can never get a tattoo. I can get a tattoo with my name. It's Julia's birthday tattoo. And just put my name on you. So here's my birthday gift to me. A sweater, 10 socks, and a lint roller. Happy birthday. It's so fucking cold. So we're heading out to a restaurant right now called Vinkles. Um, this is something this guy set up. Uh, what's this place? Oh, it's like one of the Michelin places in Amsterdam. My buddy hooked us up. He's actually pretty high in like in the restaurant business, and he made a couple calls and he made it happen. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, usually we wouldn't be able to get a table there. I would. <laughs> yeah. So pretty psyched about this. I'll let you do the talking. there's this classic saying like it's so cliche like make your life like a movie you know but like you really can what would make it more epic you know when you look back it's like it should feel like a fucking movie it should feel like surreal like you just woke up from a fucking dream like what the fuck you know like that's how I feel like when I look at my story it's like here I am like in a small town of you know at the time when I grew up it was like 650 people in Switzerland like a small little farm town and you know then it's like whoa moving to America moving to Los Angeles I remember landing on the plane, it's like all the lights, I'm like, oh my God, it's like, I thought it was a small city, it's like, what? You know, here you are in Los Angeles, almost homeless for like two years, like just struggling. Uh, then, you know, getting into success with women, teaching that, traveling around the world, it's like, how the fuck did this happen? You know, and it is surreal, but like you don't take it in, it's like it requires effort. So you're like, whoa, here I am traveling around, you know, then, you know, you push the marketing, your ego gets in the way. Uh, media scandal, you're on CNN, and I kid you not, I'm like, they're on CNN, I'm sitting there, I'm like, how the fuck, like, of course, I was nervous as shit, but like, part of me was like, how the fuck did this happen? You know, just reflecting on like, how the fuck, like, some dude in a small little farm town in Switzerland, here on CNN, like, is this real? Like, is this fucking real? Like, sitting in the back room, I have my, my PR guy, and he's like, here you are, man. I hope you're ready. Da, da, da. Um, Chris Cuomo comes in. Who he's like, hey man, you ready? Just don't look at the, you know, any of the women on set in the eyes. I'm like, okay, man, it'll be fine. It'll be over in like two seconds. They're doing the makeup, and here I'm like, you know, it's fucking CNN. And of course, wasn't in the best circumstances. But I'm like, 
how the fuck this happened. Then, you know, it's like building this brand, building the new direction, the Julian Self brand. It's like, yeah, it feels like a f surreal, like absolutely surreal. And, you know, with the epicness, like the fear we have too is like, well, one, we don't allow ourselves to experience that and we're not willing to go through the contrast because what does make it epic is the ups and downs. You know, if everything was perfect, you'd just be like, ugh, fucking boring. So, you know, if you're watching this, it's like, yeah, let the, the laughter, the upward spiral, the positivity out, but also like go through the contrast, go through the shitty moments. And in the end, it's just remind yourself in the future, like, what would you look back on it and be fucking insane, fucking epic? And that's what you're left with, you know, it's like the stories. It's like looking back. Yeah, it's like a fucking movie and you know, how could it get better than this? Let's see where it goes. Yeah, thanks man. Get in. Thanks a lot for all your time. Man. You're a huge inspiration to me. You made a huge difference in my life. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.